Hello everyone from Lego Universe here and I am pretty much just showing off a demo of something I've been working on for pretty much only the past few hours. Something RBX Kyle made a few weeks ago, I believe it has been, is a way to have two players on one client. It's only um, a 2D type world where you have an X and a Y type controls and you don't really have any depth. The controls are a little bit glitchy for his game, so I wanted to see if I can actually create my own type of version. So, I was able to do it within the last few hours. Pretty much you got your standard controls. You can use WASD and space star to jump for one character. And for another character, you can use left, left, right, all these types of arrow key buttons. I'm not, not the best at owning like this one. Depends on my hand. Okay, there we go. Just the hand. And, uh backslashes to jump. For whatever reason, shi um, right shift and right control registers left shift and left control in studio, so I didn't really want to use those buttons because I wanted to make sure it works in studio, the same as in game. And I didn't want to use enter because that's the chat. Now that's cool and all, but what happens if I want to actually use a controller? Or two, technically. Well, if you're like me and you have two separate controllers, I have an Xbox 360 controller and a NVIDIA controller. You can have one plugged in for one character and the other plugged in for the other character. A little bit buggy though, in terms of how the thumbs like work. A for jumping works on both of them. And just a standard controls for movement for the left thumbstick for both controllers. There is a little feature which I made sure I implemented to the to this system. Can do a little bit of walking though. It's what happens when a character goes over the edge, dies, or something like that. They go over the edge for three seconds and then they respawn and when they're given spawn locations. Something I haven't exactly implemented was the ability to just reset both your characters by just pressing reset character. I would have no way of implementing that, but it'll be something interesting to figure out if I can, which I can't. But still, it'll be a nice feature in the future to be able to get player dot on res or reset requested or something like that. But this is pretty much it. I will be open sourcing this very soon at the time of uploading. It works and all types of I just wanted to more see if I could actually do this rather than uh, be able to create a game out of it. I don't have any use for this whatsoever, so hopefully open sourcing this will allow someone to create some form of use for it for whatever reason. If you're going to be doing like a 3D type map thing because you can jump with these characters, I wouldn't recommend using Invisicam for this type of stuff because of how I have to handle the camera. You're unable to pan your camera using this system. I don't really know how I'd implement that. But then again, if anyone wants to further develop this, allow camera panning, all that type of stuff, go ahead. By the way, this game is filtering enabled, so yeah. For whatever reason, hats spawn here and you apparently can pick them up. But for whatever reason, it freezes your character. Okay, so that is all for this video.